Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach, a life coach, and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back radio show. I want to talk about the gap between knowledge and action. Folks, there is a gap between knowledge and action. You can listen to this and other inspirational speeches on my show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. Have you ever wondered why a lot of times you just can't seem to make progress in life despite the fact that you know so much about what it takes to succeed? There just seems to be a gap between what you know and what you actually do in life. I call this the gap between knowledge and action. This title is uh, um, designed to give you an idea that the gap between knowledge and action can be either very minimal or very large. Over the years, I have gotten many inquiries through my website called the Take Your Life Back Today Show and emails from people who feel frustrated and unable uh, to pro progress in life. Quite a few indicated that they have read a lot of different personal development and motivational materials over the years and acquired wealth of knowledge in this way. But, for some reason, they just couldn't get past reading or listening to such materials to actually living the life that they have desired. Often this was uh, accompanied by the sense of frustration and the feeling that perhaps such things just don't work, or at least not for them. That is usually how we get to feel when there is a gap between knowledge and our actions. It's when you know what to do and how to do it, but you just can't actually get to do it in the way that you want it. I have attended or listened to many seminars myself over the years during my hosting of this show uh, and my video shows. In many cases, they were great seminars, given real useful information, but I have noticed that in all likelihood, most people attending the seminar would put the seminar materials on their shelves afterwards and pretty much not act on the information that was given to them, even though at the time they received it, they were enthusiastic and excited about it. But somehow, as the days go by, the routines of daily life get in the way and initial zeal just dies out. It was a coaching session that I came to realize that exactly what that gap was. When I was trying to help someone else, I found out that the missing ingredient usually can be clarity. Or rather, I should say, it is the lack of clarity that keeps us stuck in certain patterns. By lack of clarity, I mean three basic things. Your fears, your feeling powerless, and the lack of focus in your life. Your fears, my friends, by the far biggest obstacle to taking action is, uh, uh, are your fears. These may uh, be fears that you are aware of, but quite often uh, it is the fears that you may not even consci consciously be aware of. For example, like many people, you might like to start a business and have a lot of business ideas in this regard, but maybe you just find yourself unable to take the next step. Sometimes uh, uh, something is holding you back. Until you recognize and deal with that issue, you may find yourself stuck. I know of a person that I had such, uh, that had such a problem. She had gone into business several times and nothing seemed to have worked out. This particular person opened up eyeglass stores, four of them, and every single one of them wasn't making her happy. During one coaching session, uh, um, um, when she used to see a life coach, she never held back to telling you. You see, the lady's parents had divorced when she was very young. After her divorce, she lived with her mother, who was wealthy. But that didn't make her happy. Her father, on the other hand, was wealthy and would uh, get her expensive gifts and generally provide her with material. Well, through coaching that she used to attend to life coaching, she discovered that she was actually sabotaging her chances of success because of her being wealthy meant being like her dad. So she didn't want to associate herself that way. She felt that be, by being wealthy, she would be betraying her mother, who was not wealthy. So although outwardly and logically she was in business to make money, inwardly she was afraid to make money because she felt it would make her feel like the person she did not want to be, which was her father. 
So all four optical stores didn't succeed. It is important to be clear on what your fears are. They are by far the biggest obstacles that you have to deal with in order to move ahead and succeed in life. The example I have given also illustrates that knowing the origins of our fears is very important in dealing with them in life itself. You may know what your fears are, but may not be clear on the reason you feel that way. The answer usually lies in the origin of the fear itself. Coaching and counseling can help you, like it helped my, my friend who used to see a life coach, dig deeper and understand yourself better with respect to their fears. Her life coach was very successful uh, in coaching for success. Feeling powerless, my friends. The second obstacle is uh, powerlessness. Powerlessness happens when you are living in a state of lower power. In this state, you will find that you generally feel less energetically. Blame yourself or others, are judgmental of self and others, and are at times very angry. The best way I would describe this state is feeling of having a weight on your shoulder, or a feeling of heaviness in your chest or your heart. I call it the backpack uh, baggage of your life, particularly when you think about your future and your plans. It can be such a drag and even uh, and, and, and every step, and then every step can take so much effort that you get tired quick. Part of the answer to dropping this weight lies in learning to let go of the negative things in your life. Once you do, you are able to move ahead to the state of higher power. When you are in that state of higher power, you let go of the blame, the judgment, anger, and negativity. You drop that weight from your shoulders or lose from the bands that are constricting your heart and mind. Then, and only then, you begin to feel refreshed and light. It becomes easier to move ahead without the clutter of negativity in the state of higher power, wisdom, and intuition are more accessible to you. The process of letting go of such judgments, blame, and negativity need not be a lengthy or difficult one. It just needs to be focused and deliberate. Again, coaching a life coach like myself, like my friend saw a different life coach, can be useful in this area. There are even some self-coaching tools such as uh, uh, the Brian Walk that can help you in this regard. Using the Brian Walk, or I should say, I'm sorry, the Brain Walk, once a day for five to ten minutes, for example, you can energize yourself and get yourself uh, in a state of higher power easily. Another thing that can help you to get to this state of higher power is your spirituality. We often neglect prayer and reading in God's Word, but they are the easiest and cheapest means of getting rid of negativity, my friends. They are the easiest way to get rid of the blame and judgment of self and others. Meditate on God's Word and pray earnestly. The Bible says, Effectually, fervent prayer of righteous man uh, availeth much. It will avail you of the power you need and give you the courage to move forward without the fear of heaviness. And then the last thing, my friends, is the lack of focus. Once you have recognized and let go of your fears and are in a state of higher power, you need to add focus in order to move uh, from knowledge to action. By focus, I mean vision. Vision in your life. That is what you want to do with your life. You need to focus. Part of the reason that, uh, uh, that knowledge you have is not being put to use may be that there is nothing for you to focus it on. There is nothing pulling you in a certain direction. So today, if I tell you about investing in real estate, you will be really excited about it. And maybe tomorrow, if I tell you about uh, multi-level marketing, you will be really excited about that as well. The result is that you will be pulled in many different directions and end up remaining stationary despite your unfocused efforts in life. Folks, acting consistently and towards the right purpose is important. Work at your vision. Work at your purpose. Be clear on what you want in life. Once you do, uh, uh, once you do it, business becomes uh, easier to say, I will succeed. And things will become easy to say no to things that will not add value to you. It becomes easier to say no to distraction that you 
uh, will then know what knowledge you need to acquire the and concentrate on in, in order to reach your destination. Business becomes business because everything else will fall off. I hope you have enjoyed this video, this program on radio, uh, on radio. These inspirational speeches, as much as I enjoy writing and giving them, I enjoy you understanding them. One of the keys to giving good inspirational speeches is to rehearse the speech very well in advance until you are absolutely comfortable with it, which I always do a couple of times when I still make mistakes, like I said, Brian Walk when it's Brain Walk. If you want more inspirational speeches, take a look at my next one tomorrow. Have you written or given an inspirational speech yourself? Why not share them with anyone or someone? You can send in your inspirational speech using uh, Ralph, or excuse me, take your life back today show at gmail.com. Call me at 844-405-HELP. We can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves, my friends, and always be good to others. A simple smile to a total stranger can change their life forever. And my friend, it can even help change your life. May God bless you. May God bless you, remember, uh, America. And remember this, my friends. Focus, because the, the gap will never...